speaking of Dracula, one of my favorite movies that you were in uh, was you acting in Dust Till Dawn. Oh, yeah, for Robert, yeah. That was a fucking creepy character, man. Yeah, that was a weird-ass character. You played, and it was like, it was such a strange dynamic between you and George Clooney because George Clooney, being your brother, was trying to protect you, but Mm. you were clearly a fucking sociopathic... Path, psychopathic murderer. Yeah, absolutely. And, it was, and you played it so well. Oh, thank like, you, man. When you were telling the girl to come sit on yeah, the yeah, bed, uh-huh. I was like, oh, Jesus. I remember watching that and then, you know, it's, it's, it was, you you played one of the creepiest fucking murderers mm-hmm. in, in any movie ever. Well, I, and, and I played that character really seriously as far as like, uh, uh, like, he's a schizophrenic. Yeah. And I tried to play that as, as realistically as possible. But one of the things that was so funny is like, you would see how fucking crazy I am, but then you would see George trying to take care of me, and yes. you actually kind of almost had sympathy for, like, George's character. Oh, look at that. That's kind of sweet. Oh, he, he just sliced that woman up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, you're, like, going, oh, when, the hug, when they hug each other. <laughs> it was very complicated. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is almost like, it's almost like two movies. It's mm. like that movie is, like, this really tense, dramatic, dangerous movie with these really bad guys uh-huh. that have kidnapped this family. Uh-huh. And then all of a sudden, it's a fucking crazy, funny vampire movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, out of nowhere, right, it uh-huh. becomes comic. Yeah, exactly. It was a weird movie. Yeah, it was, yeah that, that's how it was always supposed to be. <laughs> did you enjoy that kind of acting? And you, Did you ever think of, like, doing more of that? Well, I did think about doing more of that. I'm, I'm kind of glad it didn't work out that way, all right? But, but that was the one that I really had a good time. Doing, I really liked playing the character. We, uh, I loved working with Robert, and I produ- was one of the producers on the movie. So it was just, it was great, like being involved with a movie that I had written and that I was a producer on. I was playing this wild character. We had a lot of fun people making it. The crew was great, and we just had a ball. But I also, it wasn't like my next movie as a director, so I didn't have to worry about shit. Yeah, I didn't have to worry about making my day or anything. But it was also. Y- you were really good at it. Like you've done the cameos in your films, but it's uh-huh. it's like funny. Yeah. Like here's Quentin Tarantino in his movie. Here's yeah. Quentin Tarantino, the bartender. In, yeah, yeah, in, in Death, Death Proof. Proof. Yeah, yeah. But in that film, you were a pivotal key character, and it was very important that we believed you were out of your fucking mind. Oh yeah, no, no. I'm, I, I think that's my best character work I ever did in yeah. a movie. Like I would have look. Um, admittedly, I would have liked to have done more of that, but they just didn't seem to be in the cards. Is that anything that you would consider doing now? So many contacts. Everyone's just them? yeah, every, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, like I, I think everyone, like, like, everyone kind of jumps on it when I do anything like that. But also, time has kind of passed. I don't want to be on somebody's stupid movie. <laughs> you know, I don't want to. Like, don't don't fax me fucking uh, call sheets, and now I got to get up in the fucking morning. That's hilarious. And like, you know, I've I've got a wife and a son. I can I can spend nine hours a day on your stupid fucking movie. I get it. No, I get it completely. <laughs> there but, was a time, but that time has passed. Right.